along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich from the city of Montreal. The team that is known for lots of championships and a long history that extends over a hundred years. When I think of the Montreal Canadiens, Doc, I think about championships. All the banners hanging up in the rafters. You know you're in a winning building when you see the Montreal Canadiens in person. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Carey Price gets the call in goal, still in his 20s and racking up credentials. Olympic gold, NHL All-Rookie team, winning his goalie in the NHL and led his team in Hamilton to the American Hockey League Championship. Steve Mason is a big man in goal, 6'4", over 215 pounds, a right-hand catching netminder from Oakville, Ontario. All he did his rookie year in Columbus was lead the NHL in shutouts with 10. That also got him the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. The crowd's really getting into this as we're ready for the opening faceoff. Keep an eye on Claude Giroux as Flyers fans have seen him go from a top nine forward to a top six to the top one. Philadelphia's got the puck and they get to make the first play. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Frank's one. He knifed it away. Oh, big rebound here. Montreal's on the move in the defensive zone. Fires in front. He got his pad on it. Picked up by the defense. Pointed to Markov. Outstanding point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. And we're happy to have Ray Ferraro with us as well. He is down near the ice. The Flyers have a very versatile power play. It makes taking penalties against them a real bad idea. They move the puck from high to low. They attack from the goal line. And when it goes back to the point, they can really shoot it. Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. One-timer. Looks ahead to start something. A shot. They can't find the target. Slides it to the point to Petrie. Scorches one. The Flyers continue to probe up the wing. Back in his defensive end to get it. In the defensive zone, still in control. Goes right through him. Out of their own end and still with it. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Deflected off the blocker. Not through. Back near the blue line to Yemelin. Score! He got iron with that shot. That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. The Canadians' lead is now one. Lots of time remaining in this first period and in the rest of the game, of course, to try to build on it. The stick can break up a play and it just did. A giveaway. Fires. Outstanding save by Price. That's an unbelievable stop. Price gets the blocker on this dangerous scoring chance. He's in good position, which allows him to make the stop. Under nine minutes played here in the first. Montreal's up in this game, 1-0. Philadelphia's got that win. Point to point, it goes to strike. Wonderful, got his stick on it. Looking to Weiss. No shadow of the boards here. Oh, and here's a three on two. Save! He's got a chance. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. Really good move. Schultz is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Pointed to strike. That one blocked. Paddled aside. The Flyers have their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. Subban's going to the box, and the call is tripping. 
Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Philadelphia is getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Looking to change the momentum. They have it. Getting their first power play of the game. Trailing. Ring 10 bells for that save. The Canadians carrying it in their own end. Got to clear it here. He's in retreat now in his defensive zone. It's dumped in. The Canadians lug that along in the defensive zone. Good distance on that one to Gallagher. Heads to the front. Dvoracek. Oh, and he is drilled. He's through. Back in front. Oh, here's a wrister. Huge stop by Price. After that outstanding stop, that's got to give his team a big lift. The Canadians have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Got on by with that one. The Canadians have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. Picks it up in his own end. Philadelphia's in their own end, continuing on. Penalty coming up. Play continues. And gathered in by Claude Giroux. Tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Passing! And so now a penalty will be handed out. The Canadians will have to sit two minutes for interference. You cannot stop his progress in this particular play. You have to allow him the ability to be able to move up the ice interference. The Flyers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Montreal Clean win on the draw. Gathered in by P.K. Subban. Time of the penalty, 15 minutes, 45 seconds. Mason's out behind to stop it right there. Long lead pass to Couturier. Good job with the stick. It's a two on two. Might be an opportunity here. Gathered in by Pacioretty. He's pinned and held at the boards. Steps between the circles. Pitching it to Gagne. Chip to Umberger. Near the boards. He can start some danger here. Price makes a smart play and holds for a face-off. The Flyers prevailing on the face-off. The Canadians are back even. The loose puck taken by Simmons. With a blast! Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. A tough save, but an even tougher deflection. Oh, a great save. One minute left. In the We're in the last point. minute. Let's see if anything changes. Loose puck captured by Yemen. Great bad stop. The Canadians carrying on in their own end. Big drive. And that shot missed. Trying to go to Voracek. 20 minutes have passed. They worked hard in that period. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy totals for one, very light for the other. 11 for Philadelphia and five for the Canadians. Smith-Pelly's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Philadelphia's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. That one is knife down. The Canadians shifting gears back in their own end. Headed right under the shadow of the scoreboard. Blocked away. Puck held near the point. One timer. Terrific love save. The Flyers waiting back in their own end. And snap to Voracek. Slides it to the point to strike. Oh, deflected away. Back in front. Did not find the net with the shot. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. To the slot. 
He covers and holds on. Mason's able to flash the leather on this excellent scoring chance. He tried to go top cheese, denied. Over four minutes have been played. It's a one-nothing game. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Pass goes straight up to Galchenyuk. Score! He got the post with that one. He hit that puck square in the middle of his stick. Great technique. Mason's thinking he's got the angle covered, and he probably's got most of it. But it hits the inside of the post. It beats him. Montreal's got a two-goal lead now. Still in the second period. Lots of time to build on that. Philadelphia's got another face-off win. The Flyers lug the puck through the neutral zone. It's a three-on-two as they move in. Oh, a save. Looking from the blue line. Wonderful save. Swept on to Petrie. Flings it. Save. You got to battle through a screenplay. Forcing attention in deep. Directed on. Glove. Now that's a quick glove. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Montreal's quick on the draw. Score! That's three unanswered goals. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the Ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Montreal's got that one. Now what? Let's it go. Can't get it on net. Wonderful save. Play to be made now by Shen. He got it in. Enormous collision. Shen's understanding his role, Doc, with that big hit. He hasn't had many of those here tonight. That might change the momentum in this game. Oh, and he's hammered. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. And now it's directed to Couturier. Drives to the crease. Another solid pad save. Possession seized by Semin. Fires, blockered away. Good work with the stick. Nap by Simmons. Outstanding save with the glove. That was all positioning right into his glove. Simple play. Score! They're back to within two now. Well, when you talk to goaltenders, they say it's tough to pick up that puck on the backhand. Price whiffs on this low glove side shot. The Flyers have closed the gap to two, and here in the second period, there's lots more time left in the game. Philadelphia's prevailed again on the faceoff in the neutral zone. Puck now possessed by Petrie. A wow, what a glove save. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. He can start some danger here. In the crease. Guarded the goal again. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. You talk about cutting down the angle, perfectly executed by the goaltender. Speeds right on goal, and a whistle. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal.
The Canadians win it. Hammered. Marvelous save by Mason. Good position in the slot. Wonderful poke check. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Directing that one to Placanitz. Carries it toward the woodwork. Out in the slot. Score! That one went off a skate. The Canadians have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say in the second intermission? Probably not much. Montreal's got it off the draw at center. And angled to Eller. Good defensive play and a high in center ice. Hanging on to it up the wing. Hit straight up to Gagne. Another save. The Canadians continue on in their own end. Loose puck captured in the defensive zone by Semin. He knocked it on. Bunted down. Moving it to Semin. Oh, can he catch him? Two sticks together, they cancel. Forty minutes have been played here, and still more to go. A well-deserved rest is at hand. Let's look at the shots on goal totals through the first two periods. 19 for the Flyers and 17 for Montreal. The Flyers were counting on a tremendous performance in goal. They counted wrong. More in a moment. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Canadians have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? Just got enough. Knife down out of the air. Look at this. And possession snapped up by Schultz. Giroux's got this one between the blue lines. Save! Drives to the net, gets by, and it's driven away again. The Flyers control the play in their own end. They've got a two-on-one. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. The goalie makes himself look big. Subban's penalized two minutes for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. This power play is too predictable. They have to find a way to change it up. I sure agree, Eddie. We're expecting that to happen here. Let's see if it does. The Canadians ready in attack back in the defensive zone. Picked up by McDonald. Possession seized by Pacioretty. Carried to the corner by Gagne. Many yards gained to Delzato. Takes that pass from the other point. Moves to the corner. Possession taken up by Petrie. And he's held up and pinned. The Canadians organizing back in their own end. Heads on to the corner. Slid to Couturier. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. The Canadians are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. And he's hammered. Well, guys, he did acrobatic stop by Mason. Looking for a better lane. Ripper, marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Referee's got a penalty on his mind here. Delayed call. And it's nabbed by Couturier. Goalie to the bench, extra attacker out. And a good save in the goal crease. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. 
Montreal's got a minor penalty here for interference. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? Face-off win here. Cruises to the slot. Outstanding point-blank save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. He gets through. Steps between the circles. No! What a chance. You have to hit the net in that area. Lots on that to Roffel. And he missed it. That shot just squeezed through. I don't know how it didn't go in the net and just missed wide. Save! Perfect centering pass. Score! Another step in the road back. They're down by two. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. And so I think it's the quick release that fools the goaltender. He just gets a little piece of it, not near enough to stop it. Philadelphia's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period. And there's still time for them to strike back. A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. Curls on back in. And they've got a three-on-two here. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. White's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Montreal's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Philadelphia's had such good power play numbers this season. Most of it as a result of the way they move and support the puck. Very unpredictable makes it tough for the penalty killers to stymie them because they don't know where the next attack is coming from. And at an angle to strike. Shooting! Wonderful save on the redirect. Missed the net. Need to get rid of it. Possession taken by Strike. Good quick poke check there. Making some headway in their own end. Pass attempt to Roffel. The Flyers with possession in center ice. He gains the zone. Hatchets one. Propelled to Giroux. Back near the blue line, to off his pad. Gotta ice it here. The Canadians carrying on in the defensive zone. Two on one opportunity. The Flyers' power play is over. They've had their problems tonight. Great glove save. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Philadelphia is going to rue these missed chances. They've had so many from good spots on the ice. They've missed the net so many times. They've done nothing but hurt themselves. Ray, I don't know if you believe in omens or not. One side says, well, it's got to change sometime, and another says, maybe not tonight. Montreal's got it again. Snapping a pass to Le Cavalier. On to White. Possession with him between the blue lines. Dumped in. It's gotten behind the net. Score! That's two unanswered goals. The Flyers are now back to within one with the scoring of that goal. And there's plenty of time for one more goal in the third. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Blocked. To McDonald. Pitching this one to Reed. Full steam up the wing. At the front of the net. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Puck is thrown to Couturier. Oh, and he's hit yet again. Gains the zone and looks over his options. He's going to the net. That is defense to Couturier. Moves up the side with it now. Passing one off now to Reed. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. A wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. And possession now on the pickup by Shen. 
The Flyers, through the neutral zone, accelerate to the line. Pass to the shooting position. Got a piece of that one. Got a piece of it. We are in the last minute. Looks ahead to start something. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Block that one. Looking to Voracek. Possession established on the pickup by Markov. With a drive. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. You score right there, that puts them away. Scooped up by Strike. Muscled long to Simmons. Goes right past. Good centering pass to the slot. Waffle boarded. Pitching it to Galchenyuk. Takes it on the wing. Net empty. Score! That one should put the icing on the cake. That's going to be too much for them to come back from that empty net or seal the deal. The Flyers win that neutral zone faceoff. Laid on to Umberger. Fires deflected off the blocker. And the game is over. Montreal's victory was a close one. Didn't seem like it was going to be a period ago. Looked like it was going to be overwhelming. Should not have been this close, Doc. They just took their foot off the gas pedal. The teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.